In this video, we're going to be explaining exactly what a discounted cash flow analysis is and going over a complete step-by-step -step example. For our explanation, we're going to be turning to one of the greatest investors of all time, Warren Buffett. The video is about three minutes long, but listen closely because the step-by-step -step example will be much easier to understand if you listen to what Warren Buffett has to say. It's how do you find intrinsic value in a company? Well, intrinsic value is what is the number that if you were all knowing about the future and could predict all the cash that a, a business would give you between now and Judgment Day, discounted at the proper discount rate, that number is what the intrinsic value of business is. In other words, the only reason for making investment and laying out money now is to get more money later on, right? That's, that's what investing is all about. Now, when you look at a stock, when you look at a bond, so it means the United States government bonds, very easy to tell them what you're going to get back. It says it right on the bond. It says when you get the interest payments, it says when you get the principal. So it's very easy to figure out the value of a bond. It can change tomorrow if interest rates change. But you are, the cash flows are printed on the bond. The cash flows aren't printed on a stock certificate. That's the job of the analyst is to print out change that stock certificate which represents an interest in the business and change that into a bond and say this is what I think it's going to pay out in the future. When we buy you know some new machine for Shaw to make carpet that's what we're thinking about obviously and you, you all learn that in business school but it's the same thing for a big business. It, it, if you buy Coca-Cola today the company is selling for about 110 to 15 billion dollars in the market. The question is if you had 110 or 15 billion, you wouldn't be listening to me, but uh, I'd be listening to you incidentally. Uh, but the question is, would you lay it out today to get what the Coca-Cola company is going to deliver to you over the next two or 300 years? The discount rate doesn't make much difference after uh, as you get further out. But, and that is a question of how much cash they're going to give you. It isn't a question of, you know, it isn't a question about how many analysts are going to recommend it or what the volume in the stock is or what the chart looks like or anything. It's a question of how much cash it's going to give you. That's the only reason. It's the true way if you're buying a farm. It's true if you're buying an apartment house. Any financial asset. Put oil in the ground. You're laying out cash now to get more cash back later on. And the question is, is how much are you going to get? When are you going to get it? And how sure are you? And when I calculate intrinsic value of a business, when we buy businesses, and whether we're buying all of a business or a little piece of a business, I always think we're buying the whole business because that's my approach to it. I look at it and say, what, what will come out of this business and when? And what you really like, of course, is them to be able to use the money they earn and earn higher returns on it as you go along. I mean, Berkshire has never distributed anything to its shareholders, but its ability to distribute goes up as the value of the businesses we own increases. We can compound it internally. But the real question is, Berkshire selling for, we'll say, 105 or so billion now. Uh, what can we distribute from that 100? If you're going to buy the whole company for 105 billion now, can we distribute enough cash to you soon enough to make it sensible at present interest rates to lay out that cash now? And that's, that's what it gets down to. And if, the, if you can't answer that question, you can't buy the stock. Buffett makes it clear that the best way to value a stock is based on the projections of how much money it will generate in the future, which is exactly what a discounted cash flow analysis is. So let's go ahead and jump into our step-by-step -step tutorial. And you can see here I've already built out an example discounted cash flow analysis model. And the very first thing you need to do when performing a DCF is you need to find out what the growth rate is going to be for the future free cash flows of the company. In order to do this, we need to look up the historic free cash flows of the company and find out what their average growth rate is. So you can see that's exactly what I have done right here. I plugged in the historical free cash flows for this example company, and we found it had an average growth rate of 13.94%. So this is something you should take into consideration when projecting the future growth rate. Other things you might want to take into consideration might be things such as industry standards and other analyst expectations. So based off of this, I projected a growth rate of 9% for this company. We then use this to project forward the future free cash flows of the company, which you can see I've done right here using our growth rate of 9%. 
We then go ahead and calculate the terminal value. Terminal value is the value of an asset or a business beyond the forecasted period when future free cash flows can be estimated. The terminal value assumes a business will grow at a set growth rate forever after the forecasted period. So essentially this terminal value is all the future free cash flows past 2030. In order to calculate this, we're gonna use our old growth estimates. We're also gonna take our perpetual growth rate, which is typically the rate that the economy grows at, and we're also gonna take into consideration our discount rate. You can see here exactly what the formula was, and based off of this, we were able to calculate the terminal value. The very next step for our DCF is a very important one, and we need to find what the present value of our future free cash flows are. You can see what the formula is for that right here. And once we've found the present value of all of our future free cash flows, we wanna add all of them together, which you can see I've done right here. I've taken the sum of all of the future free cash flows. We then wanna look at the company and find its cash and cash equivalents, which we can find on the balance sheet. And we're gonna add that to the sum of our future free cash flows. We're then gonna take the total debt of the company and we're gonna subtract it from our sum of free cash flows and our cash and cash equivalents. After we've done that, we have officially found the equity value of our company which after that, we only have one more step to do, which is we're gonna take the shares outstanding for the company, and then we're gonna take the equity value and divide it by our shares outstanding. And this is how we can find our discounted cash flow price per share. And we can see on this example, the intrinsic value of this company would be $37.34. So when I built this model, we can see I listed the current price of this example company, and it's $24.25. That's a 53% difference in the price between these two companies. So based off of this, we can clearly see that this is an undervalued company and this is a stock we would most likely wanna look into buying. So those are all the steps needed in order to perform a discounted cash flow analysis. If you'd like to watch me build this model from scratch, then I'll put a link to that video in my description. I'd highly suggest you begin practicing building out these models as it will allow you to make stronger and safer investment decisions in the future. It's also important to remember that there are multiple other ways to value a stock, such as a dividend discount model, Graham's valuation model, and a multiples valuation. I have examples of each of these valuations on my channel. Depending on the company, some of these may be better than a discounted cash flow analysis at times, but each of these can provide great insight to how a company may perform in the future. If you'd like to be able to download any of my intrinsic value models in Google Sheets or any of my crypto, portfolio, or investment trackers in Google Sheets, then you can head over to my Patreon page at the link in the description. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'd really appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe to the channel.